Hello there, baby dolls. You're watching the old season play out right now. You're probably looking around like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, hate to say it. We could have already done 70% of the old season gains by now. I know, shocking. No one wants to hear that. But it is what it is, friends. We're like, oh, old season, old season. Yeah, this is old season. I know, you're probably wondering, excuse me, where's my life-changing gains? There were in some coins. It just you and me weren't in them. Did you go all in on BitTensor Tau? Did you go all in on that? Probably not. Did you go all in on Bonk? Probably not. See, this is just, it's, it's getting tougher and tougher. But also, the truth is that Bitcoin is still under the all-time high. The free money season, it's called free money because there's just an overwhelming large amount of emotional paper hands come to join the party. That season only comes if Bitcoin's above all-time high. Now that Bitcoin's under it, yeah, it's it's tough, isn't it? You stall, you stag, there's different seasons that rotate around. Now, I hope the next 30 days make up for it. I know everyone's like, it gets really anxious, don't you? It makes you really anxious, but this is it, man. This is this is it. I, I've only spent, I don't know, 1,800 videos telling you that, look, man, markets are kind, but... You're not guaranteed the number you want. No one is. It's. It just comes down to how much do you believe? Look, I, I've told you so many times, man. I have been in so many trades, day trading, swing, investing, look at so many things. And then in hindsight, when you look back, you go, oh, the only people who won were literally people with the biggest balls in the whole world who were like vomiting at the bottoms. They're like, oh, I don't want to add to my position, but I have to. Those are the people who win every single time. And look, obviously, I am a veteran friend of yours with a straight back and very pointy elbows. Huh! But it doesn't make it any easier, friends, every single time. The only thing I can tell you that we will crush it is stock market. Because the stock market's nothing. Because it's just a freaking up only piece of trash Ponzi Stock market goes 20%, 30%, 50%, 70% down. I don't care. You know, the whole world's over by that point anyway. But in crypto, it's different. It ain't so easy, is it? So if you have leverage friends, just be careful in that next wave. Don't worry, I'll be reminding everyone. I'll go, guys, it's way too hot. By the way, by the way, oh yeah, I got to tell you now, if you're in a Bitcoin leverage long trade, watch out. All right, watch out. Your friend Somi here has literally seen five people. I can count them on my fingers and talk to them by name. Five people who have literally said, game over, bears, finished. We win. That attitude, like absolute hyper-confidence euphoria for Bitcoin. And yes, if you notice, friends, no, one's, no one has the balls now to do a down arrow. So this is just something to think about. Now, even if if the market drops 50% by here, who cares? Alts never even moved up anyway, right? That's what we're here for. However, in the next phase, if we start moving up, you just have to be careful because where we are now, it, it is possible, right? In the next crash, we come back here. That's how far it might test us. You never know. It depends on which coin you're in, okay? Because everything, sometimes things move higher lows, range or lower highs you don't know every coin's going to move differently in terms of the distance of the deviation but at least you've been warned about what's coming on and yeah altcoins friends altcoins there's nothing in it for bitcoin and ethereum there's just too many pb heads in it 